how to get to Hades town. You have to take the long way down through the underground, under cover of night, laying low, staying out of sight. Ain't no yes, and I believe I am the only woman directing a musical on Broadway this season. It's pretty shocking. Keep on walking and don't look back till you get to the bottom line. Wait for me, I'm coming. Wait, I'm coming with. Um, I think the, the biggest challenge that both women and artists of color face, from producers in particular, and, and in a good sense, this is a very um, fixable challenge if there is the true desire to change the world and make it a more just place, is that directing on Broadway is not a prerequisite for directing on Broadway. Let me tell you something that my mama said to me. We take what we can get and we make the most of it. So right now I had the great fortune of coming to Broadway in 2016 with a show, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. And that was a show that originally I directed in an itty bitty space uh, over on the west side at Ars Nova. Um, and what I can testify is that I got into tech for Broadway at the Imperial, and I feel it again here at the Walter Kerr working on Hades Town. And tech is tech. I know, I'm not used to it. You know, I come from the music world and um, there's, music has its own problems, but there is, I think, more parity in terms of how many women are just in the field. Um, so I do feel very proud, along with Rachel, to be putting our weight on the scale of, of that gender balance. And um, I have a daughter, she's five. Uh, I brought her to see our marquee, and she looked up and saw, you know, my name and Rachel's name, and I felt very proud to be able to show her a Broadway marquee with two women's names on it, and she doesn't know that that's a rare thing, and hopefully in her day, it's not going to be rare.